Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm in an area of Las Vegas they call the Arts District. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you around the Burlesque Hall of Fame Museum, and then drive around and show you some of the other buildings and things in the Arts District. They give personal tours, or you can just explore around on your own. So I'm going to do both, but mainly just give you my own personal tour of the museum. Here's a wall with lots of pictures, and they have a timeline, starting with 1816, 1870, 1890s. 1900s showing the history of burlesque in America and this goes up to 1972 article 2009 Miss Kalani Coconuts uh, next one down the line was uh, worn by Lois Defee she had this really fantastic tagline Queen of the Glamazons uh, because she was six foot four without her heels so uh, you can definitely read out more about her on that stand right here uh, next one down the line is another uh, gorgeous peacock gown worn by uh, Lana Wong uh, next one down the line was designed by Gussie Gross and worn by uh, burlesque performer Sheila Ray uh, next one down the line we have a costume uh, designed by Hedy Joe Starr and worn by Venus Light and last but not least we have the costume worn by uh, designed by Bruno Lee Fantastique and worn by burlesque contemporary Marinka. So yeah, definitely when you have a moment, you can check out how intricate all of their work is. And uh, while of the museum, top half here we have these ornate Pacey standing in for our donors there. The bottom half here with these beautiful sequin Pacey standing in for our donors there. Uh, there are, however, some donors that wanted to donate their own Pacey's as well, so you can kind of tell which ones those are there. <laughs> and uh, that does essentially uh, wrap up the tour for me. Um, you, you already know, if you want to revisit any of the artifacts that you're seeing out on display, you're more than welcome to. Um, well, I just got a personal tour. So now I'm going to show you some more close-up detail. This is the famous Little Egypt. And this dancer claimed to have a 17-inch waist. Look at that. You know who the world's greatest showman was? Flo Zigfield. That's him and some of his dancers. The famous Sally Rand. And when Vaudeville went away, the burlesque still stayed. I think this was the first movie about Sally Rand, starring Barbara Stanwyck. This is a good way to beat the heat. <laughs> Here's some protesters when they tried to stop the burlesque shows. <laughs> Jenny Lee, the bazoom girl. <laughs> I bet you haven't heard of Neo Burlesque. Maybe if you want to read this, learn about that. You got a lot of ads in the museum like this. Here's where they did some protesting on stage with the cards. How do you like this costume? <laughs> They've been having this Miss Exotic World competition for decades and they still do it each year. This is their studio where some of the contestants practice. And if you ever wondered how you bump and grind, there is the steps one, two, three, four, and five, how to do it. <laughs> and here is a professional strip teaser protesting the amateur contest. <laughs> These are individual photos of many of the 
Burlesque Dancers. Kitten on TV Doll is one of my favorites. And I met her in person once at a show. And they had such clever names. Gail Wins, Honey Bee. This one claims to be the Sophia Loren of Burlesque. Sophie Tucker. Gina Bonbon. <laughs> and Candy Barr, another famous lady. And this is Dixie Evans. She originally owned all of this collection and had a museum in California. And she, I went there once. She gave me her personal tour of the museum. How do you like this bikini bottom? I bet you don't have any coat hangers like this. <laughs> There's Jenny Lee and in her older years she started a school for strippers. Here's a, some history about this collection. How would you like to fill out this application to be a dancer? <laughs> All those measurements. Wow. They even ask about your teeth, your smile, and they even ask about your personality. Here's a summary of the early years, starting in 1900, and a summary from 1930 on. Well, it's all in this one big room. There's some things up in the front area where you check in but other than that this is a very quick look around the entire place and here's a costume designer doing the built to bear <laughs> now I'm gonna ride my scooter around a few blocks here. Here's the Neon Desert Brewing Company. The brewery has some nice artwork here. Main Street Moto is a motorcycle shop. They got some interesting artwork here too. Here's a place called the Pepper Club. Very colorful place. Imagine the work it took to do all this. Here's a theater. I wonder what kind of shows they put on there. All the buildings around here are painted like this. This big building has all sorts of art stores and studios in it. And outside of it is an outdoor cafe here. And they have entertainers come on the stage there. I'm not sure what the garden is. It's probably some kind of restaurant, I guess. And how do you like this mural? Guess what the snowball in Vegas is. <laughs> I guess this is it. And here's proof that this motel is in the Arts District. <laughs> I don't know what this building is, but it has an interesting paint job as well as this building next to it, which I think looks kind of scary. Well folks, I think this is an interesting part of town. You might want to drive around and go into the Burlesque Hall of Fame. Good day folks.